Hey guys, welcome back to Bike Geeks, and I have another product uh, video for you, and this is going to be on a pump from the guys over at Bike Pro Tool. So they did send this over to me to show you guys, and I want to say thank you to Bike Pro Tool for doing that. Um, but I wanted to go over, this is their high pressure pump with gauge, uh, with mounting kit. So it does come with the standard mounting kit that you would put on a bike bottle cage mount area on your on your frame or if you don't do that you can obviously just stick it in a bag but this is pretty cool because it does have some nice features in it including a pressure gauge built in so you don't have to worry about taking or guesstimating what pressure you have in the tire so i do have a handy bike wheel on here with me um, and what we're going to do is we're going to get the footage a little bit closer to actually when we're actually doing the infl uh, the filtration uh, the uh, inflating of the wheel. So, but first I want to show you what the what this looks like and how it actually comes apart. So let me get the video in a little bit closer so you can see what's going on. Okay, so obviously you can see here where we have the the pump where the handle where you would actually do the pumping, and then we have the uh, the breathing ender the air that the the part that actually puts the air out. You can hear it. On the other side there is this that unscrews. So we unscrew this. And this has the capability of attaching to both Presto valves as well as Schrader valves. So depending on the end that you're going to be connecting to, in this case my wheel is a Presto wheel, uh, this is the end we're going to have to uh, basically uh, connect to the actual um, wheel itself. And the other side would have been a standard Schrader valve. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to leave the Presto valve open and connect the Schrader valve to this end. So we just screw that on. Now, if I had a Schrader valve, this one says Schrader, we would do the opposite direction and connect this side. But since we have a Presta, we'll connect the Schrader side to the pump. Make sure it seals down good. Now we have the pump in all its glory. Now, as we fill up, uh, so we're gonna actually screw this, this end onto the actual uh, Presta valve itself. As we fill up, uh, the pressure is going to actually come out. You can see it right here on the Schrader side. It'll actually start pushing on this. Uh, on one side, it tells you how many bars. On the other side, it tells you the PSI. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to get the wheel up here. I'm trying to get you the video as we fill it up so you can actually see what's going on. I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to take off my valve stem cover. And I'm going to loosen up and actually open up the Presto valve end here. So we're fully open. Now, of course, this is the Schrader. You wouldn't have that step. You would just put it on. Uh, in this case, we're going to take it and actually put it over it and just start screwing it in place. So, as we get it on there, it should screw on. And once we actually get the screw on, it should get tight. Once we're tight, we know we're good to go. Alright, so we should be tight there. Now, uh, I do have it so you can actually see the PSI rating here. So, I'm going to actually zoom in a little bit on that. Because you can see right now we are... We do have some pressure in there, and as I fill, so we're gonna put in, you know, at least a little bit of air here, so you can see as it grows, we can check the pressure periodically to make sure. Now, obviously, you're gonna stop to check the pressure. So right now, we're definitely in between, probably around 30 psi in there currently. Oh, I'm sorry if you're not able to see that. Sorry about that. You get a little bit out of focus as it tries to find what it's trying to focus on. I apologize for that. That was my fault. Should I put it on manual focus? That's what I should have done. I did not. Now, of course, as I'm trying to sit here and be all nice in the video, um, we're getting in there. So now we're over 40 psi, and I'm not going to go too much further. But you can see, you get the idea of exactly how it goes as you actually pump. I'm gonna zoom out here so you can actually see the tire process. You're just all you're doing is you're sliding the handle in and out. <laughs> And we're pumping up the wheel. So pretty simple and how it goes. And then when you're done, so let's say we're done here, all we're gonna do is actually unscrew this from the wheel. Make sure it unscrews properly. I'm just gonna twist the whole thing. Sometimes it's easier to do that. Then obviously with Presto, we do have the valve stem here to tighten back up. And then the cap to put back on. And then we're good to go. Now to put this away, let me get rid of the wheel and then we'll reset up. Now to put this back away, we just unscrew this back from the end. So same counterclockwise away, put the dust cover back on so we don't get anything in there. And put this back in the other end. Now to figure out which way to put it in, 
you can see that there are threads on the inside here that are not over here. Those are the threads that actually screw into the end here. Now you can't put it in backwards. It won't allow you to. It'll only go in one way. And once we get it in, screw it down tight so it can't go anywhere and obviously seals it up for, for any dust or anything. And then put that cover back on there as well. So that's it. And then if you obviously had the bike mount, it just snaps into place and then can secure. Now they do actually have, sorry, uh, a direction it goes. The upper cap is slightly larger than the lower cap. So it'll hold the handle so it doesn't uh, slide apart. Uh, and then you would have the Velcro strap that you would use to secure it so it can't fall out. So that is that. So I have actually used this on a couple biking trips already. Um, and I've had to get it out once for actual use. It is a really nice tool. It, I know I've had other pumps that, to be honest, were a little bit larger. And I do prefer this one because of the size. Now, I do not use the frame mount. I don't like having anything on my bike. I don't put water bottle cages on. I don't put anything on my bike frame. I wear a backpack when I go, and I put everything in my pack. Or if I'm running my trailer or whatever, I'll throw it in my trailer. I actually keep this in my pack, uh, so it's quick and easy to use no matter what. Um, and it's small enough and thin enough where it's not really getting in the way of anything. So I keep this in kind of the, the main section of my pack down to the side. Quick and easy access. And it's a solid one. So especially for like 30 bucks. Um, now I will put a link where you can check out this in the top of the description. If you have any questions or comments, please post those below. Subscribe to the channel. Get set, uh, set up on the alert status. Share the video. That way we get out there because this is a relatively new channel yet. And uh, I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts. So... Let me know what you think. Bike Pro Tool, this is their bike pump. And like I said, I will post a link at the top of the description. So thanks for watching, guys. And we'll catch you on a future video here on Bike Geeks. See you soon.